A Google product has finally made it into my home. Let's check it out with this unboxing of the Google Home Mini. The Google Home Mini is Google's new smart assistant device for your home, as the name implies. And if you've paid attention to the market for smart assistants, Amazon with Alexa and their devices definitely lead the pack. The Google Home Mini is in direct competition with the Echo Dot, both of which are only $50 and are smaller versions of their larger offerings. You can find a link to both in the description below, but let's dig right in. Google announced the Mini at their October hardware event on the 4th. With that, we are introducing Mini, the newest member of the Google Home family. Along with other products like the Pixel 2. We do all this by bringing together the best of hardware, software, and AI and the much larger Home Max, which sits at a hefty $399. Say hello to Max, our biggest and best sounding Google Home ever. This is an increasingly competitive space as Apple is aiming to make your wife jealous by bringing Siri to the bedroom with the HomePod 2. The difference between the Mini and the other two home devices is that this is meant to sit in any room in your home, and at $50, I honestly wouldn't mind having one in each room since that can be pretty affordable. It's great for checking the weather, preparing for your commute, or reading out your favorite chicken tendies recipe. It's quite obvious though that this is not meant as a music listening device with a much smaller speaker and no headphone jack, which the Amazon Echo Dot does not lack. This means if you want to hook it up to your stereo system, you need to spend another $35 on a Chromecast audio, which can be a pretty annoying hidden cost. Although audiophiles may not be impressed, minimalists and those who prefer something other than a smart talking hockey puck will be pleased with the gorgeous design, which comes in three colors, coral, charcoal, and chalk, which is what I have here. It has a textile mesh wrapped over the top of this donut, hiding four LEDs beneath it, which are the visual indicators that Google is listening. Although let's be honest, they probably always are. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. The setup is super simple and done through the Google Home app that you can get from your local app store. It's far better than Amazon's Alexa app, which I would consider a feat of ineptitude in application design. The app detects your new device, asks you to enter your Wi-Fi password, train it by saying, hey Google a few times, you know, talk it up a little bit, ask a few personal questions about yourself, totally not for malicious data mining purposes. I mean, come on, it's Google what we're talking about here. Then apply any updates. After just these few screens, you're ready to tell Google your life story. Maybe tell them about the time you liked this video and subscribed. I don't know, just throwing that out there. Hey Google, play some music. Okay, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. Uh huh, uh huh, cheer! Yeah. Uh huh, uh -huh. Good. That was like a knockoff version. That yeah. was. Hey Google, how do you say nice to meet you in Korean? 만나서 반갑습니다. Hey Google, how do you say I like your boobs in Korean? 나는 너의 가슴이 좋아. Hey Google, what is the square root of 69? Square root 69 is approximately 8.307. Hey Google, what sound does a whale make? This is a whale. Hey Google, how long would it take to visit every restaurant in New York City? Assuming that there is no turnover among restaurants and one eats three meals a day, each one at a new restaurant, it would take 25,082 thirds equals 8,361 days to eat at each, which translates into approximately 22.9 years. If you like this video, click that big ol' button right in the middle and subscribe. Also turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon. If you'd like to watch more, then click on the other videos on the screen and also follow me at my social media platforms below.